Alright guys, you don't really have to listen to my voice anymore as of last episode, however, if you would really kill or possibly harm your system, not that much, harm your system, just to get your old interface back, or if you're really, really, really curious, this episode is just for you. Before we do anything, you may want to make a backup of your whole setup with Deja Du. Right there. Just if you're really cautious, I'm going to try to show you how to do this while causing the least amount of harm damage to your system. We're going to install the new, brand new interface known to the world as Mate. Now it's a s made by a single Arch user, which I applaud him for that. I really do. It's a perfect example of open source telling everybody we can do anything that we want. However, as somebody in the Ubuntu forums pointed out, and I shall try to qu quote him as best I can, uh, saying, being a developer, or programmer, or whatever he said, he was either developer or programmer, he says he cannot recommend Mate, because he knows that there's going to be a whole bunch of compatibility issues, and unless there are 300 people behind it, he cannot recommend it at all. Well, mates, shall we show him? Shall we listen to him? Shall we deal with it? Or shall we show him this is open source and we can be more than 300 people? So, first things first, let's install this while causing the least amount of harm to our system as possible. Again, links will be in the description for this. You don't have to do that part, I just opened up Synaptic Package Manager's repository section and copy and pasted that in there. Then I updated it, installed, it, installed the Linux Mint keyring, updated it again, and I installed mint-meta-mate via the terminal. I do not believe I installed mint genome shell extension which will probably work for Genome Show, which would actually be pretty cool, but anyways. That's how to do this if your installation failed. But anyways, once you've done that, log out, click on the gear, select Mate, log back in. I okay, if you haven't noticed, look around, you see things have pre become mendified. Though things do begin to look like home sweet home. Well, don't stop yet. We're not done. There are a few things I must tell you. First of all, oh look, recent documents. Cool. But anyways, why are things rather mintified? Though we can right click and use home sweet home like stuff to fix it. First of all, I must tell you, if you choose a theme that is incompatible, with Mate, which don't worry, a lot of them are. In fact, you can install your own custom theme. So find a work, a look that works best for both you and the theme. And Mate, you and Mate. But um, things are mintified because Linux Mint is a distribution based off Ubuntu. And because of that, we are able to use Linux Mint in order to install Mate. However, if you try to open up your software center, it won't work. It'll start, it'll start, it'll start, and then it will fail. This is actually where I was beginning to uh, really want to reload my system. Luckily, I did find out the cause and the way around it. If you type in software center into the terminal, you'll see no module named Linux Mint. After a bit of googling around doing the wrong thing, almost resetting my computer system again, and then finally finding the right thing, I found out, mostly through going through System Monitor, it's trying to identify the system as Linux Mint, because that's how we got Mate installed. 
after a bit more of googling and then finding a tutorial that will actually help out with this it'll say that we have to go into our terminal tap in sudo get it slash etc slash lsb dash release tap in our password and right there is the problem this thing we are not Linux Mint, we are Ubuntu. Save. We can close that. And if we try this again, software center. Wait for it. Ta da! So basically, we have told software center, hey, I'm Ubuntu, you better listen to me. I said, okay, you're welcome then. Do you have to pass? <laughs> now, apart from that, things are pretty much the same. Uh, like I said, if you choose an incompatible theme, panel may disappear or CPU will go all the way straight up to the roof 100%, make everything laggy. If you have a good computer, though, you may not be too worried about that. But I would keep this thing, keep this page favorited just in case, because I found that I've had to put that in every single time I log in. So, keep it favorited just in case. Learn terminal commands because you can do pretty much everything in there just in case. And just in case, once you get it working, install absolutely everything you believe you'll need. Again, just in case. Now, we also got to do two more things. Unless, of course, you're not bothered by it by all. We go over into desktop settings, system, preferences, desktop settings. Windows, and we have to move this back to the left. By default, it's over to the right. Back to the left. That will work for Mate. Yay. But what about for the rest of your system? It will actually go through your system and change absolutely everything. From Genome Show to Genome Classic to Unity. Excuse me. Everything. We have to go into GCOM. This one, not that one. That one's for the Mate. This one's for the rest of your system. And switch it back. For Genome Shell, it's over in Desktop, Genome, Shell, Windows. We have to remove the colon that's there and set this to close, comma, minimize, comma, maximize, comma. This will put everything to the left as it should be, or as you're used to, whoever is used to that. I know I am. And for everywhere else, it's apps, metacity, general. That line right there, button layout. So fix those, and those will be fixed. Alright, we are almost done. It really hasn't been all that bad. However, the final thing, final two things you need to know. First of all, not everything will appear here due to compatibility errors. Luckily, we have our genome shell, which will bring up everything, or genome pie, I mean, which will bring up everything that is not supported by me, mate. So, that's one crisis averted. So that's the first one. Next one is when you type in compiz space dash dash replace, though everything will work, it will work just perfectly. It will take your CPU, well, I have dual core CPUs on both my computers, so I will say roughly to 60%. Again, if you have a good computer, you shouldn't be all too worried about that. And you don't have to use compiz. And really, it's not all that big of a difference. Unless, of course, you're playing games, in which case you'll want to have Compiz off anyway. But as it only does that for Mate, it doesn't really do that for Genome Classic, it doesn't do that for Unity 2D with Compiz and he's turned on. And I'm not really... I don't even think it's taking your GPU, it's just your CPU. So, you want to make a note of that for those who want to get your Compiz working. Within Mate. Okay, so, I actually think that's it. I hope this has helped absolutely everybody. Thank you for watching, and if you've stuck around this long, uh, long I have a special treat for you. This cool thing that you can do to your login screen. Uh,
that's actually very, very cool. Oh yes, one thing I found out with Mate is that for your laptops you have to use edge scrolling, it doesn't have the two finger scrolling like it does in 11.10. So, that's eh, kind of unfortunate. Okay, I can't really find it right now, but the link shall be in the description. It's a really cool login screen. Ah. Here it is. Complete with how to install. Check this out, check this out, check this out, check this out. Are we playing? Look at look at it. Ah, oh, things are so laggy probably due to compass, but anyways. You have all these little monsters rolling around if you have multiple users, otherwise it's just one monster. You click on yourself, log in, and when you log in, the other monsters will die. That's awesome. However, I recommend doing this after... Yeah. Sorry, I'm a little sensitive to that. <clears throat> uh... I recommend doing that after you spend at least a week in every single desktop environment. And again, you're not limited to just these guys. You can install KDE, XFCE, LXDE, Enlightenment, Openbox, Fluxbox, all within your Ubuntu 11.10. So, again, you're not limited. You're not limited at all. But yes, yeah, spend a week in each and every one. Find out which is best for you. Once that's done, follow these instructions. The link shall be in the description. Then we gotta go into our terminal. Copy and paste that line in there. Tap in our name, our password. Go right here from Unity to Crowd. Log out, back in, and you should have the cool login screen. When you want to switch back, just go back here and change it back to Unity. Alright, thank you for watching. You don't have to listen to me anymore. Yay! <laughs> okay, I hope that helped out as many people as I possibly can. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, yeah. <laughs>